Hey guys, Ian from Proline Racing here. Today we have the new 2015 Chevy Silverado clear body for 13.9 inch wheelbase crawlers. So today we're gonna to be putting together the bed rack that comes included with the body. So what you'll need for this are some polycarbonate scissors, we've got some needle nose pliers, we have a two mil hex driver, drill bit as well, and then just a standard rotary tool with a cutoff wheel, and we also have a sanding drum as well. And then finally, we've got a sanding block just to clean up the rough edges. Let's push this to the side. So including the package are a couple parts for this body rack. First we have the top portion, and then we have the side piece as well, which we'll be cutting out. And there's also the M3 hardware that comes included too, but we'll set that aside for now. Cool. So right now we're going to start with this top piece and get this all cut out. We're going to be using the rotary tool. Now normally you could, with other bodies, take an X-Acto knife and drag it across and then break the edge. But since the material is a lot thicker, to save time we're going to be using a rotary tool. And then while we're cutting this out, we're going slightly offset of this scribe line because we don't want to cut too close in case we slip and we don't want to nick it and mess up the final product. But we'll go back and, and clean this up with a rotary drum a little bit later. All right, now that we got the bulk of the material removed with our rotary tool, we're gonna fold up these edges and clean them up a little bit with our polycarbonate shears. All right, so this is what the first part should look like. Now that the rack is all cut out and cleaned up, it's ready for paint. For demonstration purposes though, we're gonna leave this rack clear. So we're gonna set this part aside, which is the top portion of the rack, and now we're gonna move on to the side portion. So let's get started. And more screaming noises. There's the first half. And the second. All right, now that we got the bulk of the material removed with our rotary tool, we're gonna fold up these edges and clean them up a little bit with our polycarbonate shears. All right, here's the first half, and now we're gonna move on to the second half. All right, we got the second one cut out, and uh, we're gonna cut a little break, do some cleanup, and then we'll be ready to drill and mount this. So, do some cleaning. 
And with a little bit of editing, we're back, we're clean. These parts came out awesome. And again, if you'd like to get a better finish, we have the sanding block, or we also have a sanding drum for a rotary tool to where you can go through here and just clean up a little bit of the edges for a very professional look. So now we're gonna move on to drilling the holes. So when drilling the holes, we're just gonna look for these little indents in the Lexan. And that's just gonna tell us where we're gonna be drilling these holes. So just for the sake of time, we're gonna use a rotary tool to knock these holes out, but you can also use a body reamer to punch the holes through. All right, here's the first side knocked out. I'm just gonna clean off these little burrs and then we're gonna move on to the other pieces. All clean. And same thing. All right, again, just clearing out the burrs and then we'll move on to the top half. All right, here's the top done. Just cleaning off the burrs. All right, so now we're gonna start putting this together. So you'll notice this rear portion is more sloped than this front half. So that's gonna tell you which side goes where. So as you can see right here, this is sloped. So we're gonna match it with the adjacent sloped side. And to put this together, we're gonna grab our two mil hex driver and our needle nose pliers. We're gonna insert the screw into the hole. So I'm just gonna get started and hold this with my finger. All right, and then now that we got this started, we're just not gonna tighten it down fully when we get the other screws in so they don't bind when we try to put them in. All right, and then we'll just do the remaining screws. All right, now that we got all six screws in, we're just gonna go ahead and tighten them down. Just snug, not too tight, because we don't want the screw to rip through the bicarbonate. All right, we got that all tight, and now we're gonna move to the next side. All right, now we got it all assembled. There'll be three screws per corner and then one screw per corner that'll actually hold it to the body. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that as well. So here it is on the body. So all you'll be doing is just drilling straight down into the top part of the bed right here. It'll just be four holes, put it on, and then we'll screw it together. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. All right, and then we're just gonna put the screw up from the bottom of the body. Get it protruding, and then set the rack right on top. All right, there's the first one, and we're gonna take care of this one in here too. All right, now we'll move to the other side. Do some left-handed action. All right, so there you have it. This is how you assemble the bed rack for the 2015 Chevy Silverado. 
go ahead and like down below and leave a comment on what your favorite trail is that you'll be taking this body on. Go ahead and check the bell for notifications on future videos. And for this product and others like it, be sure to head to ProLineRacing.com. And I'll see you on the trail.